while doing a group project. Have you ever distributed the tasks among the teammates and worked simultaneously on different parts of the project? Why do you do that? The answer is to complete the project in less time, with equal efforts and with better results. If we will work on a project one step at a time, it will take much more time. And while one is working, others are free. And that's a waste of time and energy. In mathematics, it is called resource allocation. Let's learn about the linear programming resource allocation problem in this session. A linear programming problem is a type of optimization problem which seeks to find optimal solutions to linear functions that satisfy linear constraints. In this video, let us learn to solve a resource allocation problem using linear programming method. In such problems, the resources need to be distributed among competing alternatives to minimize the cost or maximize the return. Let us try to solve a problem to get a better understanding. An aeroplane that has executive and economy class can carry a maximum of 180 passengers. The profit made from an executive class ticket is 800 rupees and that from an economy class is 400 rupees. The airline reserves at least 150 seats for the economy class. The airline has a policy that the number of executive seats should not exceed one third of that of the economy class. How many tickets of each type would maximize the profit of the airline company? Converting this to a linear programming problem would help you to find the optimal number of tickets in each category that would give the maximum profit. First, let us try to convert this practical problem statement into an algebraic problem. Let the number of executive class tickets to be allocated be X and Y be that of the economy class. For the airline to make a profit, the values of these variables should always be greater than or equal to zero. So we have the first constraint X, Y greater than or equal to zero. An aeroplane can carry a maximum of 180 passengers. So the total number of seats should not be more than 180. That is, X plus Y should be less than or equal to 180. Since the airline reserves at least 150 seats for the economy class, Y is greater than or equal to 150. Now, as per the airline's policy, the number of executive seats should not exceed one third of that of the economy class. That is, X should be less than or equal to one third of Y. This inequality can be simplified as 3x minus y is less than or equal to zero. Now let us look at the profit factors to construct the objective function. The profit made from an executive class ticket is rupees 800 and that from an economy class is rupees 400. So with X number of executive class tickets and Y number of economy class tickets, the profit of airlines that a trip gains is 800x plus 400y, let this be equal to p. The optimal solution would be the maximum value of the linear function p subjected to the linear constraints x and y should be greater than or equal to 0, y should be greater than or equal to 150, x plus y should be less than or equal to 180, 3x minus y should be less than or equal to 0. Thus, we have formulated the linear programming problem to find the optimal value that is the maximum value of a linear function called objective function of decision variables x and y 
subject to a set of linear inequalities called linear constraints. The next step is to graph these inequalities on a Cartesian plane so that the common region of all these inequalities can be considered for the optimal solution. To graph the linear inequalities, consider the corresponding linear equations. Plot these three equations on a Cartesian plane. Now, looking at the three equations, it is relatively easier to identify the solution region of the corresponding inequality. The inequality x greater than or equal to 0 has the half plane right to the y-axis including the axis as the solution region. The inequality y greater than or equal to 0 has the half plane above the x-axis including the axis as the solution region. Similarly, the inequality y greater than or equal to 150 has the half plane above the line y is equal to 150, including the line as the solution region. We need to use the test points to determine the half plane that contains the solution region for the next two inequalities. Consider the point 0, 0 and substitute in the inequality x plus y is less than or equal to 180. 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 180 or 0 is less than or equal to 180 which is true. So the test point 0 0 lies in the solution region. That is the lower half containing the point 0 0 represents the solution region of the inequality x plus y is less than or equal to 180. In a similar way, consider a test point on one of the sides of the line with the equation 3x minus y is equal to 0. Let it be 0, 50. Substitute 0, 50 in the inequality 3x minus y is less than or equal to 0. 0 minus 50 is less than or equal to 0 or minus 50 is less than or equal to 0, which is true. So the test point 0, 50 lies in the solution region. That is, the half containing the point 0, 50 represents the solution region of the inequality 3x minus y is less than or equal to 0. Thus, we have a bounded feasible region of which all the points satisfy all the linear constraints we have. But there are infinitely many points in the feasible region. Now, how do we find the optimal feasible solution? If R is a bounded feasible region of a linear programming problem, which is a convex polygon with an objective function Z is equal to AX plus BY, then the optimal feasible solution, whether it is a maximum or a minimum, it occurs only at a vertex of the polygon. Therefore, the maximum value would occur only at the vertices or the corner points. So we just need to check the three points to identify the maximum value. When x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 150, the value of p is 60,000 and when x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 180, the profit p would be 72,000. However, the profit is maximum when the x is equal to 30 and y equal to 150 with an amount of rupees 84,000. Therefore, the airline company can make the maximum profit by allocating 30 executive class tickets and 150 economy class tickets. To summarize, in this video, 
we've learned to formulate a linear programming resource allocation problem. We've also learned to find the optimal resource allocation strategy in order to maximize the profit by solving the problem using corner point method by an example. Transportation systems use linear programming for time and cost optimization. Bus and train routes require linear programming optimization techniques to manage scheduling, travel time and passengers efficiently. Airlines also use linear programming for pilot scheduling and routes. We will learn more about linear programming problems in our upcoming sessions. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.